Welcome back guys, 2E0 VOV, uh, stood outside on a nice sunny day, going to show you the latest project, it's a 12 volt portable rotator for an antenna, uh, I've kept it as light as possible, uh, built with PVC fittings and couplings for the plumbing and electrical trade, uh, it's got a small controller, so anyway, let's not mess about, we'll get into it and uh, hopefully this might give somebody some plans or ideas how to build one themselves. Brew antenna, the ZL Special, seven element. It's sat on top of the rotator. It's up about uh, four and a half meters at this time. So we control that using this homebrew controller. It's got variable speed control on it. Runs on the six mil jack plug down a ordinary bit of uh, speaker cable, twin, twin flex. I've got a 12 volt jack on the bottom, I'll show you the insides in a minute but in operation it's left or right, so if I flick a switch there you go and we can go the other way So, if we lower the mast, we'll show you the actual antenna rotator. We've got one inch electrical conduit there. We've got a coupler, that's what they call a coupler, which is being used as a uh, thrust bearing. If I take this out, inside you can see how I've made the drive. I'm using the 10 mil bolt, which is sat up inside and that is sat inside a bush which is bonded inside the tube so that makes it easier to disconnect and reconnect so that would therefore connect inside there into a socket so it makes it very easy for me to assemble so this is built on using a 12 volt uh, 6 rpm motor uh, there you can see how I've pushed it inside. So what we've got in here is a one and a quarter inch adapter into a one and a half inch coupler, one and a half inch tube, which holds the motor in position. It's slightly bigger than the motor, so it has to be pushed into position. Which... Um, another one and a half inch coupler, back to back with another one again, so two back to back purpose of this is I wanted plenty of overlap for my bearing surface which is actually another one one inch coupler in there is what's being used as the bearing um, and to hold it centrally I've just used ordinary resin and as you can see there's the 10 mil socket which is directly screwed onto the top of the output shaft of the motor it's very simple so that's the components that have been used to build this and uh, you see it actually works okay. Moving on to the controller, I'm using a 9 volt PP3 battery. It's running through a speed controller which costs about 4 UK pound. So um, it does the forward and reverse, it controls the speed and when I did the demo at the beginning of the video that was full speed. Obviously this can run higher voltages, so I've put a small jack plug in the back so I can run external power, but for me the convenience of having it internal is kind of priceless. 6mm audio jack plug, because I have one kicking about. Often a bit of twin figure 8 cable. So there you go. That's all there is to my uh, rotator. As you see it works fine. Uh, certainly ideal for lightweight portable ops from a uh, roach pole. It handles the uh, job very well. Thanks for checking by 732E0VOV.